You see that computer down there? Yeah, that one. You see it? It doesn't look like much, right? You might just see that at the office and think, eh, sure, normal computer like any other. What if I told you it's not as it seems and that the inside uh, doesn't really match what the outside looks like? Well, today we are going to build this which is the ultimate sleeper PC. And this computer, despite what it looks like, is, is costs almost $7,500. So let's go ahead and let's get to building. Hey guys, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. So if you've seen any of my videos, you know that we've built, well, we've built terrible computers like this one that we built last time with the lowest possible 3D Mark score ever of 782, or we've built super over the top, gigantic RGB builds like this one. We've built in the Gamer, GamerStorm Quad Stellar, we've built in the Tri-Stellar, we've built small builds like this one down here. What we haven't done is build a, a stealth PC or a, a sleeper PC. So a PC that on the outside really doesn't look like much, but on the inside, it's packing a V8. And that's what we're gonna do today, is build the ultimate sleeper PC. And now, with the Ultimate Sleeper PC, the case is so important. So I've seen people in real life do sleeper PCs in like old, big, you know, full tower, like beige workstations from like the 90s. And that's the dream. They don't have those cases in this game. So I looked a lot. I looked at cases that I thought, oh, this one might be cool, right? Like this is pretty understated. The problem is a lot of them are not understated. Like a lot of them look like this and then has a monster on the front or has crazy colors or RGB lighting everywhere, which we could turn off, but still, or has, you know, tempered glass or crazy colors or all this stuff. So I've been looking at cases for a little bit. This is one I considered, which I really like because look at it. I mean, it looks like, it looks like a workstation, but I thought, you know what? Okay, you can not do that, thanks. It's, the problem is it doesn't support enough water cooling for me to do it as the ultimate sleeper. It's only really got room for a 280 rad up front, which just, it's not enough. It's not enough for me. I like the outside, it's understated, but the inside is gonna be eh, a little underwhelming. So, looking for more cases, right? I think I've settled on the case that I settled on is somewhere that I can't remember exactly where it is. Uh, hello, where are you? It's a be quiet case. You probably figured that out. Nope. No. Aha. The dark base 900. Now, this case is big. I admit it's a full tower, but so are old DOS machines, like old, you know, beige, whatever machines. But you gotta say, like on the outside, you bring this thing, you got this under your desk at work. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna ask two questions. It doesn't look like anything. It looks boring. If you don't read B quite, I mean, it looks so boring. Just don't let them do this. Ooh. And on the inside, it even looks kind of boring. For now. For now, it looks boring. We're gonna make it look special. Now what I like about this case, because it's large, it supports a lot of water cooling, which means we are going to make something truly special happen inside this. Let's get going. You know, I could love those fans. Ah, it's fine. Okay, whatever. I well, not the front ones, but okay. We can do, <clears throat> once I remove this, man, we can do, hmm. <laughs> Oh, uh, nope, 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 nope. That was wrong. It was the wrong spot. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Okay. Here's your rat up front. Bam. This is going to be a no RGB build, by the way. Sorry if you're disappointed by that. But we're trying something. Okay. Wham. That looks quite nice. Now, reservoir. Ooh, I haven't actually thought about that yet. Wait, is that the spot for a reservoir? Yep, 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 yep. Are you serious? This is where you want to mount a reservoir? On the back? Oh, this game. Why do you vex me? Why do you do this to me? This is where you want to put a reservoir? What? 
What? what? No. Why is the reservoir always the hardest part of every build? Like, just, just put it here. Like, I'm sure if you can find a way to mount it here, you could mount it here. Oh. I'm in pain, I'm in physical pain. This game dislikes me. Wait, okay, could I do? <gasps> Ooh, a stubby reservoir. This is so silly that it goes back there. It's weird, I kind of like it and like, just fit, how? Uh, how does that not clear? How, it, it, it clearly, eh, clearly clears, like by a large margin. Why? Why do you dislike me? Uh, okay, well, game is gonna be an ass. I can't believe, oh, that makes me so mad. What's the point of short reservoirs? I'm upset. All right, we'll play your stupid game, 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 game. Dumb, so dumb. Hate you. All right, whatever, it's still gonna rip. Motherboard, let's do it. All right, ultimate zero build needs an ultimate motherboard. So, X299. Yes. I will have you. Okay. CPU. Nope. I always clicked the wrong one. Let's see. All right. 9900K. Yes, we could go bigger, but what's the point? This will be quite adequate for our quote-unquote workstation, which we're totally gonna use for gaming. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling Corsair Dominator, potential. As a nice kind of, ooh, Trident Z, silver could be fun. Sure. Let's do that. That'll be nice. All right. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. So sensitive. So sensitive. All right. Load up on some of this. Fits our. Oop. Oh, what? It's our theme nicely. The theme that no one's going to see. Ideally. Wow. What is. Hello? What am I doing? Okay. Let's. See. CPU block. Silver? Silver? Silver, I feel like, yeah, it's appropriate. Okay, great. Get some storage going before I forget to do it when it's annoying to do. Great. Yep, is there another? Yeah, so we can put that in here. Two M.2s, two terabytes total there. Nice. Throw our power supply. We will need the power. TUT. Okay. We are good to do graphics cards. And then we'll do some piping. Some tubing. Game calls it piping. It's making me call it piping. I don't know why. Um, and this is ultimate, which means we're going with the classic. 28 TIs from Aorus. Gotta remove the PCI covers, which I never do. The right time. I think that was the right ones. Let's see. Yep. Great. Wrong. Oh. Why am I. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Yep. Not sure why I picked the wrong slot there. That's fine. Alright. Cool. Put these back. Bothering me. Okay. Dude, that's got a good theme. To be honest. That's got like really consistent color going. For not ever being visible. 
The gray cables, I think, probably are all right, too. Okay, so I'm going to run some tubes, and then we're going to take a look at what we've got here. This is interesting with the reservoir up here. The, the order will be slightly different, I suppose. Um, hmm. Let's think about this. Gee, let's see. 360 rad. Down to the bottom of the graphics card. Then to this graphics card. Then to... Reservoir pump combo? What's well, gonna look cool? Not that it matters, right? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Wow, this is different. This is different. I'm just trying to think of what's uh what's gonna look the best. Hmm. Yeah, I kinda think I'm gonna go graphics card into this side. That's the out, so technically it'll go this way down, but that's fine. And so then we'll go from this. So out the CPU into the reservoir, out the reservoir into the graphics card, down to the graphics card, back up to the 360 rad, from 360 rad to the 280 rad, to the 280 rad, back into the in on the CPU block. All right, that's the plan and go. Okay, I think I've got our Ben's made here. Um, it's a little tricky. Putting the reservoir here makes it annoying because they don't these they don't come out of the, the reservoir straight. So you can see some of the unfavorable non 90 degree bends I had to force myself to do, which hurt and it was it didn't like it. But um, I like this. This is fun. Go down here, and I went with the nickel tubes and the nickel fittings. So fun, 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 yay, fun. Uh, cool. All right, let's do coolant. Now, these are fully opaque lines, but because this is a... I feel like I want to be rebellious, because this is a stealth build, right? So I want to put a little splash of color in here, just because I don't get to do anything fun, because it's not going to look like anything cool. So we're putting UV green coolant in it. It's going to be awesome. So, all right, I'm gonna put the case at least partially together here. I think I need to get the top panel on to be able to power it up. Yeah, weird, okay, cool. Yay, we got lots of, oh wait, actually, no, let's be different. There's like, okay, never mind. Okay, we're good. I was trying to think of those holes in the back, if those had to get patched up right now, they're good. Uh, dust filter, hello? I'm pretty sure you were, oh, are we up top? I don't know. Uh, ah, must be up top. Okay, uh, no, closed panel. Hello, where does it, oh, I'm stupid. Okay, we could probably put some fans on there too, which would be fun. Oh, I keep clicking the wrong thing. All right. This one doesn't work. Weirdly, just down. That's fine. It's kind of strange. There's no dust filter on the top. Yeah, cool. We're not going to put this back in. We're not going to put a lot of all that stuff. No, none of that's going back in. All right. That and close. Now, let's get an OS installed. Man, is that just asking? Is that too much asking for attention there with the green? Because it's just so visible? Ooh, probably. All right, I'm gonna put the back panel on quick. Wait, I gotta boot this thing. I got the power cycle. All right. Okay. Ooh, starting to look pretty stealth. Whoa, why am I on this side of the table? What? What happened? All right, let's turn our lighting off. All of it, off. Oh my gosh, I have to remember how to do this. Each component. Do I turn it off again? Oh yeah, you just set it to black. Right? Uh, yeah, the black. That's how you turn it off. Ho, 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 ho. All right. 
I mean, oh, it's pretty stealth. Ooh, just don't look at that radiator. <laughs> or <laughs> don't look at that reservoir. It's fine. No one has to look at that. I mean, be honest. You, you see that underneath someone's desk, you'd think that's a really big tower. But that'd be it, right? I mean, little do you know, it has a 900K and two 2080 Ti's all on water inside. So yeah, there it is. That is the ultimate sleeper PC. Um, you can go ahead and impress all of your office friends with this bad boy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you do, go ahead and subscribe for videos like this and more coming up. Um, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.